Who at seven? The homeless are being used to illegally dump garbage on the streets in downtown LA. That's what a KCAL News investigation has now uncovered. Yeah, investigative reporter David Goldstein is joining us now this morning, and this is pretty shocking. It's shocking. It's frustrating for people who live and work downtown, and you got to see this video coming up. Downtown business owners say the city hasn't been doing enough to try and stop it. Garbage piled high in the air. That's what some people see almost every morning outside their doors, and we found where some of it's coming from. In broad daylight in downtown LA, watch. This video shows a homeless man dumping piles and piles and piles of trash on the street. He then pushes the now empty container back to a restaurant around the corner after illegally dumping their trash. The person there didn't want to talk with me. Okay, okay, okay. Nearby businesses say it's a scene repeated every single day. Homeless people dumping trash for businesses that don't want to pay for trash pickup and don't want to get caught illegally dumping. When you first saw your video and saw homeless, what, what did you think? Your first thought is like, this just sucks, honestly. Jeremy Mora owns POV Fine Art Printing in the Produce District downtown. This is what he sees outside his door on Kohler Street just off Olympic. Trash piled high every morning. There are crazy amounts of rats. There's maggots everywhere. I mean, it's, it smells. It's visually disgusting. The whole thing is just not okay. His security cameras posted on the street show how some of it gets there. On September 21st, you can see a homeless man starts dumping trash from a cart. Just after midnight, another man goes to the same spot and dumps two garbage pails filled with trash. Ten minutes later, another cart full of trash, all ending up on the street. They're being hired uh, for little or nothing by these food vendors to dump trash on our street every single day. Give a guy a couple of bucks and let him do it. Oh, easy. Then, then it's like there's no tracing it directly to who it was, you know? Then there's the guy with the blue container. He dumps all the trash on the street, turning it over to make sure there's nothing left, then grabbing a bottle and tossing that for good measure. The camera follows him wheeling the container back to a restaurant where he parks it right in front. When we went back another day, they were serving food on the street. We saw a similar container to the one used to dump trash in the back of the restaurant. No. No? No. But the woman there denied they were paying the homeless to illegally dump garbage. Okay, okay, okay. Then she blocked our camera. While businesses have their cameras set up outside watching the trash piling up on the street, the city also has surveillance cameras that they use to try to catch illegal dumping around town. Businesses here say they've asked for the cameras to be installed, but so far they haven't. But we found some of those cameras just sitting around on city property, not being used. Sources gave us these videos of city cameras sitting on a work table in a city shop and pictures of brand new security cameras still in boxes instead of out on the streets catching illegal dumping. What do you think about that, that the cameras are sitting being unused? It's ridiculous. What are we waiting for? Where's our money going? Jean Hohole manages buildings in the produce district. We see vendors hiring homeless to dump their trash. And it's not just the blight. Two years ago, the trash was set on fire and gutted one of her buildings. Have you complained to the city? Yes, I have. Every and day. What's happened? It's just been a lot of gaslighting. A lot of gaslighting. There, two years ago, they were going to install cameras, and that never happened. Um, then they brought it up again recently, and it's still not happening. Why hasn't the city set cameras up? So the city has set cameras up. I don't know if they were set up at this particular spot. Howard Wong with the L.A. Department of Sanitation says they have eight cameras in the downtown area, 32 citywide, and says some of the ones that we have pictures of that are not being used may be undergoing repairs. But he claims they are watching the cameras. So why don't they see this? It's happening almost every day. Why can't the city do something about that? So, so we are. We're but you're not, because it, again, he has video, the businesses have videos 
of the dumping there every single day. So how can you say you're doing something? We'll look at the video to see if there's an actual person where we can follow them back. But have you done that? You say you look at the videos. H have you done that? Yes, we have teams. We have a staff that looks at video to ensure if there's follow-ups that evidence that leads to a follow-up staff is doing that he says the city is evaluating opportunities to expand the camera program and develop a targeted enforcement strategy but seemingly not here on kohler street do you think they'd catch something with a camera they would catch something in day one now since we started asking questions the city has started enforcement in that area business owners say they've seen them notifying shop owners telling them they'll face fines and even arrests if it continues uh, and they tell me that now they see less garbage piled up on the streets that's good such thorough reporting uh, that you were able to get a response actually from the city right. and catch all of that on camera you were able to catch it on camera right right and the city didn't uh, you know they have cameras around not in that area as they said they have about two dozen cameras around well, what is that costing taxpayers? You know, the money is in the millions as far as cleaning up debris. A, a lot of it is where they're going to target enforcement. And with the homeless encampments, they sort of got on track to look at that area and not the illegal dumping. Mm. I think they're going to move back toward that now. How much are these homeless people getting paid? Yeah. You know, probably a few dollars. Nobody really knows. But, you know, they're doing it so the business owners can just say, I, I didn't dump it. This is clearly yeah. happening downtown Los Angeles, but right. have you spotted it other places? We haven't, but uh, people say it probably is happening in, happening in other areas. And it's an unfortunate part of, you know, the homeless on the street and taking advantage of those people. Yeah, it's another yeah. layer for sure. Sure. David, thank you.